guys, it's me, Teresa, from the Miramichi. This is just a quick video because I haven't done anything really lately and I just moved, so I can't find my tripod, so <laughs> I am, this may be a little shaky because I'm holding it with my hand. Um, I'm also uh, trying to get some uh, better equipment so I can make some better quality videos for you guys. And uh, I'm also looking at uh, getting some better editing software because the kind I have now, it's not very good and I don't really know how to use it. So this is just going to be a one-off. Um, I did my makeup today. I'm not sure how I like it, but I liked how the, I like the eyelashes because um, a little thing I just want to talk about today was false eyelashes. Um, I have, as I maybe mentioned before, I have trichotillomania, which is an OCD disorder, which um, causes you like this uncontrollable urge to pull out hair. Some people it's on their head, some people it's their eyebrows, some people it's their lashes, some people's body hair. It can be anywhere in your body and it can be more than one place. For me, it's my eyelashes and um, I really don't have much left. So I'm trying out, if you get a chance to check out her channel, her name is Mrs. Fucking Wonderful. And anyways, oh my god, this is really bad. You guys got, you got, maybe you guys could like comment down below and maybe recommend some like makeup tutorials for me because I never wore a lot of makeup ever. Like I was just never one to wear makeup. So, so this is like a new skill for me. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. Anyway, so I could use some help in the department. I feel like getting sunglasses now, but, um, I did want to show you, just show you, it, I kind of fucked up here. Um, this one's not bad, but, uh, yeah, it's, this is a new skill for me. This is, I'm still learning how to put it on. So it's, but it's fun. It's, it's like, it's neat to put them on and be like, Oh wow, this is me again, you know? This is like, oh wow. <laughs> and I have another question that I'd love for you guys to answer. See, I guess yeah, I got this forehead that goes on for miles. My question to you, should I cut bangs? Should I maybe cut some bangs across here to hide how high my forehead is? What do you guys think? Give me a message down below and let me know what you think if I should do something with my bangs or not. Um, I tell you what, uh, if I get if I get 10 comments saying to cut my bangs, I will cut them, okay? So I need 10 comments in the next week, okay? I'll give you the next till this time. Okay, how about the 1st of April? I'll get the 1st of April. If I've gotten 10 yes, cut your bangs by the 1st of April, I will go and I will cut my bangs. And if you don't think I should cut my bangs, make sure you say that too because if I get... Maybe if I get more don't cut your bangs than I do cut your bangs, maybe I won't. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. But, um, yeah, welcome to my mess. It's a mess in here because I'm just moved. So, and I'm really trying hard here to figure out a good quick camera angle. That's a little better. Um, yeah. So I want to talk to you about the trichotillomania. It's, it's, I mean, you can Google it and you can look it up and find out all the scientific information about it. I'll just tell you what it does to me. It's, it's, you can you know, you're, sometimes you know you're doing it and you just can't stop. You say, no, okay. I'll stop doing it. I'm going to stop, you know, put my hands in mittens. I'll, you know, put an elastic around my wrist and snap it every time I get I, I catch myself doing it. And you still do it. A lot of times I'll be doing it and not realizing I'm even doing it until all of a sudden I've got like half my lashes gone. And it has seemed for me, for me, and I don't know if anybody else with trichotillomania has this, it seems to me more of the upper lid. And when there's no lashes on the upper lid, then I go on to the bottom lid. But I, I'm mostly interested in the top lid. It's kind of a weird thing to to talk about. But, I mean, I don't want to get into all the technical parts of it. Because, you know, you can Google that. It's But the experience of going through it is what you can't Google. Like, you know, you can't read that. You have to go through it yourself or, you know, hear it from someone else that's going through it. But if you're out there and you have trichotillomania, please comment down below. Let's start a little community here. Let's start a little support group for us. And, um... I also want to give you an update on how I've been doing. My depression has been, ugh, it's been really bad. I've been having some really bad days. And um, here in Canada, I don't know if it's in the U.S. or not, but we have this helpline called GMO. And it's, I don't have the number right in front of me. Um, I'll try to put it in the description. Uh, it, but if you look at any phone book and just open up the first couple pages of your phone book, and Chimo will be right there, it, like as one of the. Uh, I think it's considered a non-emergency line or a mental health line, but it's right there in the first couple pages of your phone book, the Chimo helpline. And um, I called them a few times just to have someone to talk to, just 
I mean, I just moved to a new community, and, you know, I'm still trees from the Miramichi, mind you. You know, but, uh, you can take the girl to the Miramichi, but you can't take Miramichi to the girl. But, you know, it's, I don't have a lot of people to call unless I want to call long distance. And, of course, the number one thing I've been going through is, gosh, you know, I just want to call my mom. When, you know, my mom is who I would go to in this situation. I've got to talk to my mom. And my mom passed away in 2016, so I don't have her to call. And I mean, I call my dad, but I feel like I worry him more than it helps. It, it's, it seems it just makes him more worried. So, And he doesn't understand mental illness, really. So he just doesn't know what to say. He's just... Like he just doesn't. It just make he makes he could just see here in his voice. He's so uncomfortable and he's just so doesn't know what to say. And so I mean I do have some people I can call. Of course everybody's long distance because I'm not in Marashi anymore. But um, you know. But anyways, this Gmail helpline really helped. And reaching out on Twitter and stuff. But man, I got so much support from Twitter in that. And just you know people out there are really amazing, like really incredible, and just really great. Like it's this uh social outlet for me is amazing and so I encourage you guys to uh, you know you're feeling down reach out you know reach out to me I mean you know I've been through it <laughs> I can relate um but anyways I'm not going to keep this too long because you know I'm not going to be able to edit this so not too many I hope there wasn't too many ums uh, mm, uh you know you know those things that you're supposed to edit out um anyway just a short vlog I just want to get something out there today um, I did my makeup, so I said, your makeup's done. Hey, you better do a video. <laughs> Make use of this. <laughs> Anyways, I love you all, and wherever this video finds you, I hope it finds you well. Bye for now. See you next time.